these difficulties were only passing, for the strict observance of the vow produced an inward relish distinctly more healthy, delicate, and permanent. Gandhi, his autobiography, The Story of My Experiments with Truth. In order to become what he became and have the power that he was able to generate, Gandhi had to impose certain kinds of what we might think of as asceticism on himself. And so he's uh, t- giving us a very important secret about that practice, namely that, you know, to quote the Bhagavad Gita, it may seem like poison at first, but it turns to nectar in the end. We actually often we have compulsive attachments and it feels very awkward and wrong to stop having them. But then suddenly a great deal of freedom and uh, new energy can flood into us. That's what he's describing here. The strictness, incidentally, is often necessary because once we start making compromises with a commitment that we've made, not necessarily a vow, but for him, if you made a vow, it was sacred. And you don't play with it, you don't look for ways around it. I think in this case, it was a vow to be vegetarian, which he made to his mother before he left for England. And the question came up of whether he should eat eggs. But his mother felt that eggs were non-vegetarian. And so, after the bit of struggle that he describes here, he refrained. 